that because of the way in which we have designed it and also monitoring the qualitative expenditure that we are planning, it will definitely give us that required multiplier for the economy. And once the economy is into that virtuous cycle, income generation, revenue generation, and all of that will fall in place. So your fiscal prudence is still intact. And that is why I've given you a bright path. Yeah. Because I'm confident that this year I might have gone that far, but I can rein that back in. But 4.5% in 20, you know, in 25, 26, given that, you know, we were hovering between 3 and 3.5 in the last couple of years, you know, before the pandemic. That's true. But the pandemic and its impact is something which we'll have to keep in mind for the duration it is going to take for it to come back to that kind of a buoyancy, for that level of growth. And I can't be uh, overestimating the economy and um, I, I don't think the economy is in a, a position to even heat or overheat. Those fears are not at all there. And therefore, I have to give it a reasonable time and I didn't grudge that. Nuraji, by now we know what the government thinks of rating agencies like Moody's and Standard & Poor, you know, of them being noisy, opaque and biased. But do you still feel that there could be a threat of a ratings downgrade and how does that bother you or if at all? Um, let me put it this way. I don't want to say I'm not bothered. At the same time, I didn't let it bother me because otherwise, even during the pandemic, a lot of people kept asking me, is the rating agency worry stopping you from spending? Now I'm spending. Yes. So then or now, it is not that bother. But of, of course, by giving, giving a glide path, by restraining too long, like the way in 2008, it was left open and left open and there was no closing the doors. Yes. And as a result, you had all the taper tantrums and you know, the economy was still going through a big uh, difficulty. Yeah. We've learned lessons from that. And therefore, I'm confident this will be appreciated by people who are discerning on these matters. Let's go to some of the big bang announcements first. You know, here execution, as everyone is saying, will obviously be the key. You know, your, your sort of privatization drive almost has a Margaret Thatcher sort of ring around it. Uh, fairly, uh, you know, good in intent, bold, uh, uh, bold in intent, but execution will be key. You know, for instance, I think the, the, the figure of 1.75 lakh crore is what we would have achieved, uh, you know, we would have in fact achieved 2 lakh 10,000 crore going by earlier estimates this year, but we scaled that down. Now the point is, how are we to be sure that this will definitely be achieved in the coming year? Because uh, I think, to be fair, the estimate made in July 2019, I wouldn't want to say it was an overestimate. We expected to do that much. But of course the economy slowed down. But ex uh, uh, of course the economy's difficulties in terms of demand slowing down, stock market also you know, being tepid, it wouldn't have been right for me to say, oh, no, no, but I've said it in budget, I have to sell it come what may. That wouldn't have been the best approach. It's all right, I did give an estimate. I was pulled up saying, oh, you overestimated, you couldn't achieve. The situation was such that economy at that time was not, uh, you know, in a position to uh, receive all these privatization, although I did say it. But I am now also saying, because... Ultimately, when you're using public money, you're selling public assets. Can I be uh, only, no, no, I'm, I've given a commitment, so I have to sell irrespective of what I get out of it? I am answerable to the parliament. I have to make sure that it is sold at a price at which I can stand up with honesty and say, no, I've done the best on the job. So two lakhs couldn't be achieved. Now I am sounding conservative. I have to also make sure that these companies are able to catch the eye of the investor or the buyer so that they are sold at a reasonable price. It was heartening for the markets to hear, you know, your reiteration that it's going to be minimum government, maximum governments, and that the governments will get out of a few sectors. Uh, do you remain completely committed to that? 100%. And that is why I said instead of picking up on one after the other set of companies saying, oh, this is ready for sale, that is ready for sale, state it as a policy that you will have only certain core sectors, even there you will have only bare minimum. 
earlier somebody did ask me but didn't you say during Atmanirbhar four at least I am still saying not four it can even be lesser bare minimum is what I am talking about and that is where when people question me but public sector banks yes they are doing brilliantly for the very many causes for which government wants banks to function they are also sitting over several CASA the current account and savings account money for which there is no demand in the areas in which the CASAs are coming in big numbers yes there should be some synergy and that is why we went about amalgamating banks we want very many more SBIs but that doesn't mean that the sentiment that oh my god there is a public sector bank and therefore I can't even touch it can be the guiding principle we want more public sector banks which are functionally strong professionally managed which can meet the demands of a growing aspirational India we want such banks and I don't think one or two just banks like that will be able to meet this uh, growing demand for credit and growing demand for a varied reasons from the economy but in the process if I'm going to be sitting around with such public sector banks which are just not in a mood or even in a position to stand up is it right to pour taxpayers money to such banks absolutely where there may be buyers who can buy it and run it efficiently we want more efficient banks in the economy I can't be sitting with a laggard and thinking that I'm doing a favor to the economy I want these banks to go out and be able to stand up there with private money coming in and be able to service our economy that's why it's the one announcement that's really uh, sent all banking stocks on fire, including the public sector banks. Now, is this the way forward for public sector banks, uh, or is it uh, that there will be some pub public sector banks and some will be privatized? You know, so you said two banks. You would like to know which banks they are. We've not just named it. If I could name it even in the budget speech, and how I would soon have done. would that happen? I hope to do it all this year. The formulations have. All, we've started engaging with the Reserve Bank in a big way. Now, the, the disinvestment target of 1.75 lakh crore, does that, does that include uh, everything or is, you know, or LIC and others would be outside the purview of this? Well, as the LIC is an IPO, we'll have to see how it, uh, we only list, I've read out the names of those disinvestment for which cabinet approval okay. has been taken. And is that the figure of 1.75 lakh crore corresponding to? Yes, in a way, yes. So That's everything right. else would be outside the purview of that? I wouldn't uh, so put it in black and white. Okay. Broadly, yes. But broadly, the ones announced today is where you uh, hope to get maximum. Largely. 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 You know, uh, the much-awaited uh, development financial institution you announced today, uh, again, could you give us some specifics, other than, you know, capi you know uh, providing a capital of 20,000 crore, uh, any specifics, you know, have you thought of the name, or when would it kick Not off? Not yet. And Not yet. In the sense, there are institutions already in, in the government of India uh, realm, which we would want to use for this purpose but not just for what they are now we want it to be professionally run we are giving them some money but with which we are expecting to have 5 lakh crores within the next few years to be able to leverage uh, their own funds and be able to get that kind of money but I also underline the fact that I don't think again I repeat this for a growing aspirational India <laughs>